Welcome back Sagittarius. Thank you for joining me again for yet another weekly love read. My name is Rose and we're going to dive on in and see what's coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week. Sagis, happy birthday to each and every one of you. Um, I hope you've had an amazing birthday month and I hope love has been kind to you. Alrighty, of course, as always, if you enjoy this reading, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe, where you will be notified of every time I release a new video here on the channel. This one wanted to show itself, the Hermit in Reverse. You could be connecting to a Virgo. But I get here, um, I'm hearing for some of you, you're single and you're ready to mingle, okay? You're single and you're ready to mingle. For some of you, there may be a Scorpio coming in onto the scene, but I feel like for others of you, you're still attached to the past, okay? You're still attached to someone from the past. The Nine of Wands. You're getting tired of a situation. Yeah, this person, there's a there's someone from the past around you. Maybe they're not giving up on you. Maybe they still want you. Maybe they still want you. We will go into clarify some of these cards. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. There is someone here that wants to rebuild um, a connection here with you. This person may have ghosted you or maybe went silent on you, but it's like now they're coming back around. For others of you, I feel like you're just happy to, um, you've just been focusing on your career, your goals, your finances, but I am getting for some of you, you're single and you're ready to mingle. Queen of Swords in reverse. I feel like you are detaching from this person from the past. I don't feel like you want to, look, we've got the Lovers and the Seven of Cups. I do feel like there's someone new here coming in onto the scene. Could be a Gemini. Um, and I feel like this is something amazing with the Seven of Cups. Okay, this feels like, oh, this is pretty, um, this is exciting. Um, it's very passionate. It's very dreamy-like. It's, it's like your fantasy is coming true. Or someone here is fulfilling your fantasies. That's what I'm getting. There's someone here that's fulfilling your fantasies right now. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the Knight of Wands in reverse, though. So, look, this could be someone that's really just coming in for the physical pleasure, um, for the intimacy. When the Knight of Wands is in reverse, this is not an energy of someone to someone who wants to stay. So I'm getting two different people in your read. I'm getting for others of you, you're single and you're ready to mingle. Maybe you're just ready to have a good time um, with the Knight of Wands in reverse. I don't, yeah, you know what, Scorpio got this too. King of Swords in, I feel like you're emotionally not ready to be with anybody. The Wheel of Fortune, this is a favourable time for you just to mingle, go out, have fun. For others of you, if there is an ex coming onto the scene that wants to keep trying at this, I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Swords, for you, it would be best to just cut off this connection. Okay? Um, at this point, you're not even wanting anything sexual with this person. Let's get some clarity on the lovers. Yeah, 
Nine of Swords in reverse. Interesting. I feel like this other person's going to find out about someone that you're connecting to this week. And it's going to send them down like a bit of a mental spiral. Because they were hoping for some kind of a reunion here with you. But they feel like now those chances of reuniting is gone or lost. Like a missed opportunity. Look at this. There's someone here that wants to return back to you. Let's get some clarity on the Hermit in Reverse. The Empress. <laughs> so I might just... The, when the Empress is in Reverse... Um, to me, it signifies someone who misuses their body. So she's more sexual when she's in reverse, okay? She's more out just to have fun through seeking maybe sexual validation, validation through sex, validation through connecting with someone on a physical level, intimacy. But it's not necessarily healthy, because the Empress is in reverse. So maybe you're not feeling good about yourself and you just want to go out there and just feel good about yourself. But just know if you do that Sagittarius, it's just a quick fix. It's just temporary. The real work is done on the inside. Eight of Pentacles. Spirit Angels and Guides, can we get some clarity on the Eight of Pentacles? The Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, I don't think you're ready to commit to anybody right now. Maybe you've been through a really bad breakup and you just don't want to experience that or have that experience again. But I feel for now you're being a little bit rebellious. So what? It's your birthday. You're allowed to. Let's take a look and see... Um, let's get some more messages around the person that you're connecting to at this time. The peacock could be connecting to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There is someone around you that is trying to woo you or win you over here. I feel like this is someone beautiful, handsome, good looking. There's something very striking about their looks. They could be well high up in the career force. They may hold a strong title here, but I feel like there is someone here that's trying to get your attention. The bear, you could be connecting to an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this person has been single for quite some time, but I feel like they've been alone for quite some time. Maybe they've been dedicated to their career or, or to the material world. They've been really focused on their own goals, their own personal goals. But with the bear, this is someone who's coming out of hiding. Okay, so I feel like this person has been single for quite some time. I don't feel like they've been with anybody, but it's like they're ready to mingle as well. And they're seeing you as the honey pot. Okay, the bear eats honey. They're like, oh, where's my honey? Where's my honey? I need my honey. But they're seeing you as the honey pot. Okay, let's get some angel cards. Self-acceptance. Yeah, I feel like you just need to accept or be, be more kinder to yourself here, Sagittarius. Um, again, like I, I feel like a lot of you might be seeking validation through intimacy. So don't be, be kind to yourself. Trust. Trust the situation, trust the feelings. Trust what's coming up for you right now. Uh, new beginnings here. I definitely feel like there is someone new coming in onto the scene. Um, trust the timing of new beginnings too. Let's get some clarity on the trust. Oops, we've got the hanging. 
for Hanged Man. So I feel like he, with regards to those of you, not all of you, but those of you who are dealing from someone from the past, I feel like you need to trust your instincts. Okay, if your instincts are saying don't go back there, the hangman is saying don't take action. Don't let this person back in. It's blocked right now. It just needs to stay put. Let's get some clarity on the New Beginnings card. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So I do need to be honest with you here and say, okay, there is someone new coming in onto the scene. I feel like there's a lot of strong sexual chemistry and attraction to each other. I honestly don't feel like it's going to go anywhere. All right. So if you're open to that, stay open to that. Be honest with yourself about this. But I do have to say someone new is coming in onto the scene. Make the most of it, guys. Have fun. But just know that it's not going to go anywhere. Okay. So that's your reading, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time. Bye for now.